Hey guys, it's me Abby and welcome back to my channel. So, ngayong araw na to, bibigyan ko ng tips or papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko din design yung house ko. If you guys seen my house your video, sobrang liit lang naman ng bahay ko. It's around 80 square meters, I would say. And um, kung hindi naman sobrang laki na ipapagawa yung bahay, then definitely this is something you can do. Because honestly, guys, if you're gonna be on a budget, I feel like it's really good to do it by yourself. Because syempre, you're gonna pay more if you hire an interior designer or an architect. In my experience, I just hired a good contractor and that's all you need, guys. I swear to God. Kailangan may magaling kayo contractor kasi sila yung basically na magbibuild lahat ng to and um, make sure that they care about the project that they do. So ask around, magtanong-tanong ka muna, and check also yung mga previous projects nila to see if quality ba yung ginagawa nila. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional interior designer. Wala kong Hindi ako nag-aral ng interior design and pasintabi nilang po sa mga interior designer natin dyan. I'm just really sharing my experience to people na gustong i-design ang sarili ng bahay in low-key professional ways. Anyway, without further ado, if you guys want to learn how I design my house, then please keep on watching! Okay guys, so nung dinidesign ko yung bahay ko, I was using an app. It's called Pinterest. It looks like this. You can download it on your Apple or Android phone. It doesn't matter. And it's also free, which is great. So what I like about this app is that everything is in here. All your inspiration, lahat ng kailangan mo search nandito na lahat. So it's very, very helpful. Like the first thing I want to talk about is the paint or color of your house. You have to know which color palette you like and know what you really want. Yung parang sobrang ganda sa paningin mo. Sobrang dami guys. Sobrang dami pwede pagpilian. Kung mahilig ka dun sa mga bright colors, like for example, yung medyo bold na colors. Yung mga yellow, red, green. Pwede pwede nyo yan incorporate sa house nyo. Just no first yung combinations ng color na pwede nyo ipagsama. So, like for me, my color palette is gray, white, black, pink. Basically, yan lang yung halos makikita nyo sa house ko. That's why I colored my whole house white kasi tingnan nyo, sobrang bright ng house ko and it really looks clean. And then also, most of the drop ceiling dito sa house ko, ganyan yung color, dark gray. And then of course, dun sa mga pintu ko, like you can see from my behind, it's light gray. So, um, try to incorporate na colors na sa tingin nyo magmamatch. Okay, so this app actually will show you that. Um, since I like gray, I search lang ako ng gray palettes on Pinterest. Like I'm gonna show you now. Ang kagandahan talaga ng app na to is that meron kayong board. So yung board, that's your folder. For example, sa profile ko, you can see color palette here. Lahat ng sinave kong ideas dito ko nilagay. Which is really, really easy to compile every ideas you like. Bago mag-start ng construction, bago kayo mag-meeting ng contractor nyo, okay, ito yung gusto ko. Mapapakita mo sa kanya ng sobrang simple. Yung lahat ng boards ay, okay, ito yung color palette na gusto ko. Ito yung gusto ko sa kitchen ko. Yung mga ganun bagay, napakadali. I also wanna add, when it comes to decorating your house, kung magpapakustomize ka naman ng couch mo, ng dining chairs mo or table mo, get an inspiration from something. So, like for example, ito. Itong pillowcase ito, it's velvet and it's pink. And I love pink so much. Ang ginawa ko, sabi ko, okay, since magpapagawa naman ako, papa upholstery ko yung dining chairs ko, why don't I make it also like this color? Because I love it. It's velvet and it's pink. So, binigay ko tong pillowcase na to dun sa company na mag upholstery ng mga chairs ko. And I'm so happy na meron silang nahanap na gantong tela. And from there, nagawa nila tong dining chairs ko. And I'm so happy on how it looks like. Actually, napaka last minute na ng buttons. But it looks so nice with the buttons. And it looks more sophisticated and social. Also guys, I would like to add that you have to know your style. For me, my style is modern farmhouse. Because my house looks very modern and also looks very farmhousey. Because, like for example, the table ko. 
It looks like wood, but it's just laminated. And also, naglagay din ako ng wood tray sa gitna ng lamesa ko. So, when you mix it with that, like, that's kind of your style. Like, it's it's like a modern with a mix of earthy tones, if that makes sense. It's so hard to explain kasi hindi naman ako professional dito, but I hope you get it. Know your style, and that's it. Now, we're gonna go to this app again, and then we're gonna search Modern Farmhouse Interior. Makikita nyo na dyan agad yung ano bang klaseng itsura ng mga modern farmhouse. And kung meron ka mga nagustuhan sa mga designs dito, just click it and save it to your board. Napaka-simple and napaka-organized. Okay, so next thing I want to share actually on my board is that storage for small spaces. So itong house ko is very small, di ba? It's only 80 square meters. And napaka-importante sa maliit na bahay na maraming storage. At sobrang happy ko kasi I was able to achieve that. Like you can see, yung bed frame ko, merong storage sa ilalim. May mga pull-out drawers which saves my life so much kasi sobrang dami kong damit, di ba? So cabinet ko is just enough for me. But my boyfriend, he needs to put his stuff. So I decided na bakit hindi na lang gumawa ng bed frame na may pull-out drawer so that malagay natin yung mga gamit niya doon. Diba? Space saving. And also, as you guys remember, yung pull-out condiment rack ko. And sana gumawa din ako nito yung ah, lagay niya ng mga spatula niya, yung mga paluto niya and everything. Ang daming ideas na pwede niyo makuha dito. Ang pagde-design kasi guys, feeling ko is a trial and error. Like, meron time na tinitingnan ko itong sa may TV, TV area ko. Sabi ko, paano ko ba ito yung design? Sobrang plain kasi niya at first, diba? Wala pa kagamit niya. Um, paano ko ba ito yung design? Hindi ko talaga alam. Like, I have no idea how I would do it. And then, kinuha ko lang yung mga gamit na meron ako. Yung mga, my frames, my pillowcase na medyo may fur. Um, meron akong old bases, matatagal na sa akin yan. Bumili lang ako ng pink, fake flowers as SM. And then, ayun, nilagay ko na dyan. Um, most of my stuff actually is from SM department store and sobrang mura lang nila guys. You don't have to buy super expensive decor para lang magmukhang mahal ang bahay mo. Hindi ko alam ko paano explain to sa inyo pero every time na naglalagay ako ng gamit sa isang lugar, for example, ilalagay ko dito yung vase, ilalagay ko dito yung tray, maganda ba siyang tingnan? And then, I will take a picture of it, titignan ko ba, Instagram worthy ba to? <laughs> Kung Instagram worthy ba to, then it's perfect. Basta kung maganda siyang tingnan sa paningin mo, you can always ask people, like, you can ask your friends, Girl, maganda ba tong dinesign ko? Maganda ba tong decoration ko dito sa table ko? Or dito sa may TV area ko? Pag they said, oh my god, it's so nice. Or kaya pag sinabi niya, medyo parang weird yung blah blah blah. Kumingi ka rin ng advice from other people. When you do that, marirealize mo na, oh nga no, hindi nga siya bagay. So nakakatulong talaga siya, which is really good. Kasi ako, hindi naman talaga ako nag-aaral ng interior design. But tingnan mo, um, maganda naman tingnan yung bahay ko, diba? So, it's really a trial and error process and learning from the process, I would say. And also, last but not the least, guys, um, itong design na to, it's actually a recommendation of my contractor. Ginagawa nila to before pa and hindi ko siya nakita sa Pinterest before. So, um, sabi niya sa akin na, ma'am, gawin natin doon sa drainage mo, lagyan natin ng mga bato para maganda siya tingnan. So, sabi ko, ha, ano kayong hindi itsura nun? Parang, at first, medyo skeptical pa ako kasi like, anong klaseng bato? Like, okay, like, para saan? Gano, parang, di ka, di ka magets yung concept or yung design. Tapos, nung nakita ko na siya, so basically, hindi na nila nilagyan ng tiles yung part na yun. Tapos, nilagyan na lang namin na parang pang drainage and then nilagyan namin ng bato. Sobrang ganda niyang tingnan. And, Every month, nililinis namin yan. Tinatanggal ko yung bato, binavacuum ko kasi may mga buhok na napupunta dyan and yung buhok ng aso ko, which is, he's right there. Ay, po, po, he's sleeping. <laughs> so, yung mga buhok niya, naiipon doon. At tapakadali lang niyang linisin. Tanggalin lang namin yung bato, lalagyan ko lang siya ng soap, ibabacuum namin, and then, balik na uli namin yung bato. Ganun lang, guys. Ginawa ko rin siya actually sa ilalim ng vanity ko. So every time I open the lights, looks very nice. It's like you're in a spa. That's also another design na pwede ko i-suggest sa inyo. So yeah, guys, I really want to keep this video as short as possible. Um, I just really want to share you kung paano ko ba din-design tong bahay ko. And um, 
Hopefully, meron kayo natutunan and ma-apply nyo to in the future if you're planning to renovate or you're planning to build your new home. Diba? Um, by the way, we're about to reach 5,000 subscribers. Please, please share my videos to others. I would really appreciate it. Sobrang happy ko kasi lumalaki na yung angkan natin. Dumadami na tayo. And I'm just really blessed na meron talaga mga tao na nagtitake time to watch my videos and really appreciate what I'm doing here. Um, kundi dahil sa mga ganda yung comment, hindi ako gagawa ng mga videos ato. And also, if you have any suggestions or questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Alam niyo naman guys, I don't leave you hanging. I always reply to your requests. I always reply to your questions. By the way, please follow me on my social media, on my Instagram at abbybubbly. Get in touch with me. You can DM me all the time if you have any questions. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!